Greetings and welcome to another part of the Sekiro All Collectible series. In the second part we are going to cover all achievement related collectibles in the Hirata estate area. To reach Hirata estate you have to offer the Young Lord's Bell Charm on the Buddha in the dilapidated temple. If you remember you find the Young Lord's Bell Charm in the Ashina outskirts. As you pray on the Buddha, Sekiro will place the charm and he will start remembering. You will be transported to Hirata estate automatically. As you arrive, make your way down the branches and jump down under the bridge. Make your way on the left hand side to find the treasure carp scale behind the rock. Moving forward, you take care of all the enemies on the bridge and in front of the gate. Before you continue, go down to the right. Kill the enemies on the beach and make your way up to the little island you see floating in the middle of the river. As you are here, you will spot another treasure carp. We need that scale, so be slow, approach it and take it out. If you fail the initial approach like I did, press your dash button to close in. Take out the carp and get another scale. Now with our two scales we approach the merchant to get the Withered Red Gourd. The Withered Red Gourd will immediately douse your burn damage and give you a little resistance against it. Moving on we have the flame barrel. Make your way through the estate until you reach this area that is housed by a lot of enemies. If you approach the campfire you will find the flame barrel sitting here. Take care of the remaining enemies and then move on. You will eventually come up to this part here. There is two guys standing in front of this little pagoda. Take them out and open up. Inside you will find the shinobi axe. Now we take a little detour back to the temple and we fit our prosthetics. After fitting them we receive the prosthetic esoteric text. This lets you learn techniques that are based around your shinobi prosthetic. Now we go back to Hirata and we take on the first boss of the area that is called Engine of Misen. After killing him, you will be rewarded with a prayer bead. I will link the full guide in the description below and in the info card above. Moving on, we have another treasure card and another prosthetic tool. After the idol, make your way up immediately to the left and jump down into the river. Jump down under the bridge and make your way towards this branch. Pop up to surprise the treasure card here. Remember, if you fail to kill it, kill it initially, just close in with your dash button and kill it. Make your way up to find this little temple here. Ignore the enemy for now. At this point in the game, he's way too strong. Should you come here to a later part of the game, just take him on, it's fine. Go into the temple, loot the Mist Raven's feathers, and make your way out of here. Now, next up we have the hidden temple key. After ascending further on the mountain towards this burning part of the estate, you will find your father dying. He will hand you the hidden temple key. The hidden temple key will open the final door of this area that lets you fight Lady Butterfly. After that we make our way up here. Jump up to the little roof and make your way over here. Make your way through the canyon and you eventually drop on solid ground again. From here make your way forward through the enemies and hop up the well. You will eventually come out here and find another idol. Rest here and go forward. Now as you defeat Juzu the Drunkard you will reward it with another prayer beat. I will again link the fight in the description below and in the info card above. After that you make your way into the estate that is not burning yet and you rest on the idol. From the idol go back to the main entrance. But instead of going out you take an immediate ride and you loot all the rooms here. Take care of the two enemies outside and then make your way to the end. You will see this wall here that has a little leaflet on it. Park the wall to be able to reveal a concealed door. Start looting the area for some precious items. But the one thing we are here for is in here. A prayer bead waiting in this chest. 
Now last but not least, you defeat Lady Butterfly and after defeating her you will get the memory of Lady Butterfly that will increase her attack power as well as the Sakura Droplet that you can later offer to Kuro for additional resurrection. And that is it for the collectibles. If the video was helpful leave a like and subscribe for more collectible guides and I will see you in the next one.